Hi guys, I'm Noko Mabo. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you four yoga exercises to get rid of low back pain. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the screen and also select the little bell so that you get notified every time I publish a new video. If you are experiencing pain during any of the following exercise, please stop immediately and seek the advice of your medical physician. So let's start with our forearms onto the mat, on our knees. And here we're going to do a modified cat and cow. So cat, we just release the tailbone, so watch the tailbone release. The tailbone, tailbone reaches towards the ceiling, pushing your chest forward, gazing forward with your eyes towards the front of your mat. And then we do the opposite, we tie the tailbone under. We round the upper back, tuck the chin under. Let's do it one more time this way, releasing the tailbone, the lower back. The chest moves forward and out, gaze towards the front of the mat. And then we tuck the tailbone under, tuck the chin under. Let's add the breath. And inhaling, in cow, exhaling in cat. So cat is when you round the back. Again, inhaling in cow. Exhaling cat. Let's do one more. Keep pushing tailbone up, chest forward a little bit more. And exhaling, tuck everything under. Back to center. You're going to work on our abs, so you're going to re release your belly and then you're going to pull it up without changing the alignment of the low back. So if you watch the low back, neutral alignment here and belly moves up, up, without doing this. Inhale, belly out, exhale, lifting the belly. Inhale, out, exhale, up. Again. So keep releasing and tucking under. As we're doing this, we strengthen our transverse abdominus muscles. That's the muscle that's responsible to support your spine and your low back, to stabilize your hips. So it protects your back. We're going to come back to this exercise. Okay. Let me uh, move my mat a little bit. Here. <clears throat> place the hands just slightly forward in front of the shoulders and out. Elbows lifted, forehead down. Inhaling, pushing the chest forward. Simulates as we did. We open the heart. Exhale down. And elbows up, inhaling, opening, and exhaling, relax. And again, inhaling, exhaling. So you go as low, as high as you want to. There's absolutely no forcing, no straining. You can also uh, play with the, the, um, the placement of your hands. They can be further forward further in, uh, further underneath your shoulders. So if they are underneath the shoulders, there's more arch in the low back than if you have them forward. Couple more times. Elbows lifted. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Let's place the forearms underneath the shoulders holding it here and if you notice that you're sinking into your shoulders really push the floor away with your forearms Let's lengthen the neck couple more breaths here breathing in and out one more and out release 
hands underneath the shoulders. Let's get on all fours. <coughs> hands directly underneath the shoulders. We keep a macro bent in the elbows. We don't want to over arch or hyperextend those elbows. At any point, if this position is bothering your wrist, you can get into your fist. Or even what we did earlier in your forearms. So remember what we did earlier with the belly. Okay, we learned how to tuck it in. We're going to keep it tucked in to support the spine. Lift your belly in, right here. With your hands, imagine you're pushing the floor away. So we want to avoid sinking to those shoulders. Long neck. Extending the right leg, tucking the toes under. Imagine you're pushing the back wall with your heel. And lifting the leg, tucking the tailbone under. Option to hold it here. We're going to tap the floor and come up. Option to slowly extend the opposite arm. Down and up. Down. Up. Two more. One more. Hold it up. Option to challenge yourself by lifting the bottom foot. Back to center. Inhaling cat. Exhaling cat. Let's work on the other side. Starting by tucking the belly under to support the spine. Pressing the floor away with the hands. Extending the left leg. We push the heel to the back of the room. Stack the tailbone under. Option to hold it here or to extend the opposite arm, tapping the floor four times. Inhale, exhale, for three, for two. Let's keep pressing the left hand under, hold it here, option to challenge yourself and to lift the right foot off the floor. Back to center. And exhaling cat. Inhaling cat. Let's take a break here into a child pose. Big toes together, knees wide open. Pressing the hips down. Option to have the elbows down. And one fist on top of each other to support the head. Option to extend the arm. Just relaxing. Inhaling up on all fours. Exercise number four. It's our down facing dog. Where we build strength. So I'll show you with the modifications first. Different options for you guys to choose from. Toes tucked under. We lift the knees and we push the chest back. That's a modified down facing dog. You just hold it here and you really want to focus on lengthening the spine, feeling the tailbone reaching towards the sky. The next option would be to extend the knees. Now watch. Sometimes when we want to extend the knees, we do this. We bring the shoulders forward. It's not worth it. I'd rather you stay right here with the knees bent. Now, if you're able to keep your shoulders back, your, long, your spine long, then you can lengthen the knees. Other option, with the hands down on the floor, to the back of the room. Stack the tailbone under. Option to hold it here or to extend the opposite arm. Tapping the floor four times. Inhale. Exhale. For three. For two. Let's keep pressing the left hand under. Hold it here. Option to challenge yourself and to lift the right foot off the floor. Back to center. And exhaling cat. 
Inhaling in, in, cow. Let's take a break here into a child pose. Big toes together, knees wide open. Pressing the hips down. Option to empty elbows down. And one fist on top of each other to support the head. Option to extend the arm. Just relaxing. Inhaling up on all fours. Exercise number four. It's our down facing dog. Where we build strength. So I'll show you with the modifications first. Different options for you guys to choose from. Toes tucked under. We lift the knees and we push the chest back. That's a modified down facing dog. You just hold it here and you really want to focus on lengthening the spine, feeling the tailbone reaching towards the sky. The next option would be to extend the knees. Now watch. Sometimes when we want to extend the knees, we do this. We bring the shoulders forward. It's not worth it. I'd rather you stay right here with the knees bent. Now, if you're able to keep your shoulders back, your, long, your spine long, then you can lengthen the knees. Other option, with the hands down on the floor, toes so stacked under, we do the same thing. We lift the knees, we press the chest towards the thighs, tailbone reaching towards the ceiling. Option to hold it here. Option to extend those knees. If you have your feet a bit wider, it's a bit easier on your back. If it's bothering your back, bend your knees. Otherwise, you can extend. You can even press your heels down. Let's hold it for four. Four, three. Two more. Last one. And knees down. Let's end into our sphinx. Really opening the chest, relaxing the low back, the hips, the legs. Chest down, Just push off the floor. Your feedback means a lot to me, so please, please, please do leave a comment below. Let me know if this video helps. Don't forget to share this video with anybody who has similar issues with their back. And um, if you like it, give me a thumb up. Thank you for your time. Namaste.